Hi, uh, in this video we are going to learn how to load external attachments into the data vault from a folder that is there in the source where our uh, ILM is running. The agenda for today is to run the standalone job for loading the external attachment to the data vault, then checking the external attachment application module and the AM attachment entity in the EDM, then in order to browse this attachment from the browse data in the ILM web UI, we'll be assigning a role to the entity uh, AM attachments and then viewing the attachment from the browse data window. Then given that our attachment has special characters, we'll be seeing how to handle these special characters and what settings that we need to make to handle these special characters. So to run the standalone job for the load external attachments, we'll go to the schedule job then we'll select the external attachments we'll select the load external attachment program type file archive job then we'll be specifying four different values the first is the directory where our attachment file will be there second is the entity name am attachment entity as discussed that will be uh, that will be the uh, entity which will be helping us in doing the archiving then the third is the data folder that will be there in the data vault into which we want to archive the attachment. The fourth is whether we want to purge the data from the source or not. So here I'm giving a no. So whenever I give a yes, the file that will be there in the source will be deleted. Now that you can see that I've scheduled the load external attachment job. It runs the same way as all the other uh, uh, archive jobs where the BCP file is created in the intermediary and the BCP files and the NDL scripts are used to load the data into the data world. Now that we can see the load external attachments job has been completed, we'll go and see the EDM where the AM attachments table is there in the AM attachments entity inside the external attachments application module. So this external attachments application module is created by the product itself when we run the external attachments uh, standalone job. So the AM attachment table has by default three columns, which will be the directory which we mentioned. The attachment name will be the name of the file and attachment data will be the file itself, which is of the type blob. Now we'll go ahead and see how to browse the data uh, for the AM attachment. We have to select the archive folder into which we have attached. Now the selecting the entity name followed by the schema name and the table name. This will give the list of all the columns and when I go ahead and search it, I'll have the list of uh, attachments that I have ar archived into the data world into this specific data archive folder. So before uh, browsing the data and viewing the attachment, what I need to make sure that I assign the entity that has been created to a specific role, just like we do it in other uh, archive jobs. So I'll select the application version. I'll go ahead and select the application module external attachments is being created then the entity name attachment entity and I see that airline loyalty is the role that has been assigned to this particular entity because of which I'm able to browse the data see the attachments here so uh, whenever the attachment file has some special characters let's say I need to make sure that I handle these special characters uh, so that the attachment file when I download it from the data vault I should be able to view it in the same format that it was available in the source data for. So uh, I need to make sure the settings of the lang variable and the lc underscore all variable is set properly. So local is actually the uh, command that I need to make sure th this needs to be set in the uh, server where my ILM application is running and also in the data vault server. Uh, to make sure that the lang has the uh, character set that the data in that attachment contains. 
I should also make sure that I uh, uh, define the LC underscore all value with the character set which will override all the other LC underscore values like identification C type. Uh, if there needs to be specific uh, LC underscore uh, type say address or telephone number which needs to be set to a specific character set type then LC underscore all need should not be set instead each of these uh, variable needs to be set. So once these variables are set and when I download the file the, uh, from the data world the attachment will be in the same character set of what I have set here and I'll be able to view the files without any issues. Uh, so today in this demo we learned about how to run the st standalone job for loading external attachments. Uh, we also learned how to uh, uh, browse data and view the uh, uh, attached file into the data world and also saw how to handle special characters if those are present in the uh, external attachment that we have loaded into the data world. Thank you.